All right, guys, I'm back. Um, in this video, we have the nickel seven plate cell on the left and the stainless steel cell on the right. Both of them are identically built. Plate size, gaps, um, difference being the one on the left has a nickel plate and it is a zero current leakage cell. The stainless on the right is uh, obviously stainless steel plate and uh, the holes haven't been sealed. Also the uh, plates in the nickel cell have been sandblasted. And uh, one thing to we got them both hooking up, hooked up here, they're both running. First thing to note is uh, and that's not it, that's yeah that's a ghetto switch there but hey use what you have. Um, both cells are pulling right around 12 volts. Um, the big thing is here, let me turn this side off, that'll give me able to give me a measurement on amps on the nickel cell, 12.3. Flip this back on, we'll take a measurement on the stainless steel cell, about 4. So right off the bat you can see that the uh, there's less resistance in this cell. And what I want to do is uh, I want to compare them as far as watts out in production of gas and uh, see uh, what the big differences are between a, a standard stainless cell and nickel plate cell. So I'm going to compare them side by side. I've got watts, plate voltage, voltage, amperage, time it takes to make a thousand liters, and MMW on both sides. I'm going to run a series of tests and we're going to compare uh, these two cells. I'm going to go ahead and run all the tests and then uh, I'll come back with my findings. Okay, so this is what I did. I broke it down by watts to compare both of these. So right here I put my watts and this is the nickel side. That's the stainless side. Um, watts um, <clears throat> did 150 watts on the nickel, 150 on the stainless, and uh, you can see per plate gap voltage on both of them there. And uh, here's my MMW, 5.3 and uh, 4.3. So, so when we go down here, I got uh, 165 watts, 5.1, 4.56. All the way up to 262 watts, so on and so forth. So what I got here is I put uh, the difference in MMW between the two. So the nickel was at this wattage was a little over one MMW better than the stainless. Went all the way down. Um, then I averaged them out, and it's 0.74 MMW over my test, um, nickel um, over uh, stainless steel. So uh, then um, I looked up, you know, what I pay for my uh, plates. Um, it's about 13.50 per plate for the nickel, and about 2.50 for the stainless. So I don't know. You you make the call here. Uh, is nickel that much better? If you're looking for efficiency, yes. It is that much better. If we're going to put this in a car, is it that much better? I don't know yet because I've never tried nickel in a car. Maybe it maybe it burns better. Um, so, those are the results of this test. Um, I want to do a test uh, with another stainless cell, I've got I've got another stainless cell here. I've got these all over the place. Exactly the same as the other stainless cell, except um, the holes have been sealed with weld on 16, and these stainless plates have been sandblasted. So basically, this is going to be the most efficient 
stainless cell right here with uh, zero current leakage and sandblasted plates. So I want to do a video on that. Um, probably will do that one next. And I also want to do a video on... Um, I saw a video on YouTube where a guy um, measured out um, some HHO from a stainless cell and measured out some HHO from a, a titanium cell. And the, he, lit, he lit both of them. And uh, the the boom was was, was quite different. Uh, one one had a more powerful boom than the other. So I wanted to try a test like that with the stainless and with the nickel um, gas to see if there's any any difference in the quality of gas. I don't know, I know any other way you could uh, measure the difference in quality. But uh, I want to do those two videos. I think those will be interesting. And uh, and also, I have in my possession another cell looks exactly like all the others but this one guys this one has titanium plates titanium plates with the magical the magical MMO MMO on those plates uh, we'll save that for a later video I don't want to ruffle any feathers anyway guys this is the end of this video Leave any questions or comments, I'll try and answer them. Thanks for watching.